Greetings, Lore Seekers, and welcome to another episode of the Lost Archives, a Star Wars Legends lore series. So today, I'm going to be talking about a force group that might surprise some of you. This is what happens when Jedi go to war, become disillusioned with the Republic, and decide that the alternative team was better. I am not, however, talking about the cult that formed around Revan. No, 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 no. These are the Mandalorian Knights. It started off with a group of Jedi Masters, like so many with the growing legion jaw in the Mandalorian War, defined the wills of the Jedi High Council and went to battle the Mandalorian armor. Sorry, Mandalorian army, under the command of Revan. Unlike the Revanchists, however, these Masters and Knights began to covertly sabotage the Republic war effort. The reason for this was that their commander, known as a bit of a maverick, Dojanga Case, came to believe that the Republic was corrupted beyond redemption, and so they embraced the Mandalorian way of life, calling themselves the Mandalorian Knights. Now the thing about the Mandalorian way of living is that if you choose to be Mandalorian, regardless of your background, what you were before, or what race you belong to, you are Mandalorian. It seemed that the Mandalorian way of life is equal in all meanings of the word. You could be a Rodian, there are some examples of that in Legends. You could be a clone disgraced from the clone army, they wouldn't care, you're a Mandalorian. Tachanga and his small cavalcade of knights stormed Mandalorian battle armour and swore fealty to Mandalore, believing that with the guidance of the Jedi Order, the Mandalorians would be a much better way of ruling the galaxy than the current the corrupted Republic. And so they would work in service to the Mandalorians to further their cause and eventually bring them victory. Part of proving his loyalty to the Mandalorians was to provide them their own Jedi Knights and so to do this, planned to infiltrate the Jedi Enclave on the planet Domthorine. Him and his knights swiftly took over a Republic cruiser and would use it to reach the Jedi Enclave. Once there he would lock all the staff and academy personnel inside the Enclave and prepare to take the trainees off world. His plan was foiled by a former Jedi Padawan, simply known as Zane Karowick, and the militia he'd pressed into his service. They were captured, removed of their armour, and then tried for treason by the Republic and the Jedi Order. They were steadfast in their beliefs and would present them to the public whenever they got the chance. Still convinced that a Mandalorian victory was inevitable, his hopes were dashed two years later when Revan would break the Mandalorian army and slay Mandalore in personal combat, taking the helm of Mandalore to ensure that there would be no new Mandalorians to take his place. Not until Mandalore the Preserver many, many years later. The example of the Mandalorian Knights did go to show that even Jedi could be coerced by their ideology and their way of life. So much so that Jedi would perhaps stoop to even trying to steal children, which, considering how the recruitment processes of the Jedi Order actually work, it's not that much of a step from how it goes from there. At least with Luke Skywalker's new Jedi Order, you weren't enforced to enrol in the Jedi Academy. But yes, uh, being full Mandalorians, they would of course have their own set of Mandalorian iron armour, as well as the traditional jetpack that comes with all Mandalorians. Now, if you would like to check out more about the Mandalorian Knights, I suggest you check out the Knights of the Old Republic comic book, and it is the issue titled, the miniseries even, entitled War. That is a 
their first appearance. Anyway, Lord Seekers, this has been a short video and a bonus one. As you can see, I'm a little bit ahead on my recordings this week, so I thought you might appreciate this extra little one. Anyway, hopefully uh, get a discussion going down in the comments and maybe leave me a like if you liked this video, dislike if you didn't, and maybe a bit of constructive criticism. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and check the bell for notifications. And I will catch you on the next episode of the Lost Archives. Take care, Law Seekers, and have a good day.